You know, just, I used to say, mm. my mother. Uh. And so, uh, she was like, I think you're going on. That's on course. I can't even remember what I was going on with my father. I said, T. Johnny Fargo was I was a hundred and nine years old later. And then I was a hundred and five old. I was going to tell you, she got to take a drink. I was a steel old John. 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 เวียดนามวันนี้เราไอ้เกียร์ก็หันไอ้ไอ้ไอ้เจ้าก็จะมันจะที่วันนี้จะทักทักซีเนี่ยที่อาจารย์ก็ไปกวาดกันคนที่ค
Aware of the changes that threaten their nation, the Gutchen gathered in Arctic Village, Alaska in June 1988. Such meetings were common in the past and helped in times of trouble. That's the reason why this gathering is for this, to know one another, to be one another, because we are all Gutsch-in people. The Gutsch-in, you're talking about the Gutsch-in, you're talking about Vinitai, Arctic Village, Old Crow Flats, Old Crow Grassroots, Fort McPherson. You're talking about the same culture, the same native people, the same Athabascan tribe. You could, they got all kinds of different names, but we're fighting for this whole thing at once. What? Gutsch-in. I a one community can't do it by themselves. We have to help each other. And uh, a gathering like this, uh, putting it together, we have to do it ourselves. It's our meeting, and we got to do it, uh, you know, we got to do it together. The Gutchen had good reason to unite. Their future was at stake. <laughs> Uh, the gathering provided an opportunity for old friends and relatives to meet. Tana Salman from Fairbanks was reunited with her sister-in-law, Sarah Abel of Old Crow. I <laughs> <laughs> 
The Gwich'in are one people, but they are separated by the Yukon-Alaska border. Trimble Gilbert playfully explained how his people came to live so far apart. But the boundary is a serious problem, for it has divided the Gujin people. I ran my house and I was in the house. 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 I in the house. I was 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 in the house. I I can. Yeah, the border again. Start to not see her. Wanna go see Sarah? We go see Sarah. Border, no border. I don't see why there should be a boundary between them. It's one people. It should be one land. The Gwich'inin's era was also a time for people to find their roots. Chit <laughs>
The Gwich'in know they face tough times. The purpose of the gathering was to discuss the nation's problems and to find ways to keep their culture alive. For many Kuchin, alcohol flows through their way of life and it is time to stop. No alcohol is allowed in Arctic Village. That is not true of other Guchin communities. Alcohol remains a serious problem, especially for the young people. <laughs> Hunchuan <laughs> 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 There were times at the Ninsia when the Guchin were overcome with emotion in their struggle with alcohol abuse. Then the people would stand strong together and pledge to fight the alcohol battle until they won. For you, you see people that have made a commitment against alcohol. If you have that commitment, join me. If you made a commitment to fight against alcohol, join this crowd. As alcoholic, I live one day at a time. I can't live longer than that. I can't make a commitment. Strong spiritual beliefs helped some Gujin people break away from alcohol.
For the Gujin, there is an ancient solution to the problem of alcohol. Nansat Gwintin Tai, the Dewe Kun Sutini Ke and Reha Kodini Than Gazet Kutsi Lazu Mr. Chut Teats and Gotsi. The Guchin in Jia was not always serious. The people danced sang and celebrated into the early hours of every morning. They had a really good time, and it was without alcohol. village were concerned about the possible death of their language. Most of the speeches were in Gwich'in. Oh, <laughs> 
szüket konki. Ha gondolta neki, hogy hívj, szekha, kár csak szeret, szektünk itt, szektünk itt, szektünk itt, That's the only way people are going to get their language back, is living off the land and teaching their kids there. That's where it's going to start. Because I know it's not going to start in school or in town. Old people say, if you want to learn your language, you got to live off the land and do the things that's necessary to learn your language. And I believe that. Eh? The porcupine caribou herd is the lifeblood of the Gooch Inn. They are worried about the future of this honored and valuable resource. It's a, it's a human issue. It's not a caribou issue. It's our land issue, too. The Gooch Inn people are one of the last surviving people who survive from the land. We have lots to offer. And I'm just so proud to be Guchin. Chutocha. Achieve at the hint chicken no heat and cheeha. Kinchin in churns as you caught a shell. Cheat her no contact in ten of them. That's a hint chick. Put a dog by a night cut in nets of the cohesa no sun eye. Can chit you won't that a can chick one of Chichi Kukat and cheeha cohesa. Sanchea, <laughs> And the second one came, he said, What I want, sir. But in such an uncle sent there, the tongue couldn't see a key. The tongue a key, the 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 it's <laughs> What <laughs> When our young men go out and they say it zai, the whole town get excited. No what read that trap our heartbeat. We're gonna eat good again. They bring bring in meat 
everybody sit down, we eat together, we, we celebrate. How strong our elders get up then and they say, Masi Cho, and that hunter, that hunter feel good in here and that man is strong. When my father raised me up, he taught me about, you know, how to take care of animal and I understand what he meant after 47 years. So this is something that I will have to carry out with my boy so that he'll do the same thing, not to misuse the animal or the lamb. <laughs> ที่ที่ตัดสัมผัสกับอาการที่เน้นตาชาติตัดสัมผัสตาชาติกับอาการที่คนกูตะกวัดสุขคนใดเต็มชีวิตอาคติจักรวาลยานวัดไซเรตร
development now threatens to destroy the porcupine caribou herd. The American government is considering opening up the calving grounds for oil exploration. I just did oil exploration here. Just at the garage, I caught it. None. Just did we should go run that air. Just did shoot a hand chair clean. Just has a when Z just just a great when Z didn't you care. this doesn't make sense to destroy such a nice piece of land. The last frontier, they call it. <laughs> and I don't see why we should mess with it. It doesn't belong to nobody. It's just like our parents. We survive on it. It's hard to see uh, the people trying to, trying to uh, destroy the property especially the caribou. I mean, right in their cabin grounds, they're gonna, they're trying to dig around in their cabin grounds. I don't see how they could do that. The queen to la no plit cut the nun cut quick low, can the cookie eye. Hi, cut and tea. Thai goss, cuckoo, see I suck. I thought in the decatlo with a touch who caught the gear in. Do let the tobacco quee as you go to see. To great no, deep what's Zayson. What's Zayin take when think in the chi? I shall have a great other sequence and none yet oil. I can't take a net like we do again now. So I. I don't think in Salhana Gray, I did. Tunch it looked at on Chagonek or Haniaqua. The Gooch in from the Mackenzie River Delta have already dealt with oil development. Johnny Charlie from Fort McPherson offered a warning. I declare that oil people cut suck. You shut down. They eat oil cacin tea, tucker, hecogonio. The money offered by the oil companies will not be enough. We can't go wrong with it, you know, because we are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able the good and have had great problems getting the civil servants and politicians to listen to them. They feel that the governments do not respect their knowledge of the land and animals. We have been having meeting about it for almost 10 years now, but we haven't been heard in our in legislature or Congress. The leaders, the chief, are, uh, want to have input from all people how the land being used and how it's important it is. 
and I think it's very important that we get the people uh, together and listen to their the goods and the bads, whether they're for or against this uh, pipeline and put no drilling. Nothing. They're not here, and they can't hear us from there. And if we have it in writing with our signatures on it, I think they know at least we have one nation of Gujarat people that are saying no, and, that, and we mean no, and you know, and maybe maybe it may it may it may help a little bit in decision making. So like nine. Uh, I can't express how happy I am with the last three days of results and and everything that's happened. I I heard a lot of people talk. People I never even con uh, thought had the nerve to stand up in front of people and in front of other groups, you know. And I am very proud of what we did, just, just by uh, having a lot of people come out and speak. The Gwich'in left Arctic Village strong and committed. They will not let their culture and language die. They will not stand by as their land and caribou are sacrificed to development. They will stand together as one people and demand a better future for their children and grandchildren. We have chosen as a Kuchin nation to live that way. We're going to continue to eat the kinds of food that we've always eaten, the fish, the ducks, the caribou. And together here, we're going to fight in a good way to teach many white people out there who do not understand our ways. We got to teach them. When my grandfather was out on a land and I was with him, many times he'd tell me, you don't trap here for a while till your kids are big. And I look at him and I say, me, kids? And now my boys go there. They go there and they trap for beaver and muskrats now. We have our ways of conservation that we must show a lot of the people in the world. The Kuchin people are one of the last surviving people who survive from the land. <laughs> Ja, 
For the Guchin people, the gathering was a time to share stories and songs, the language and dances, their hopes and fears. It was time to come together in unity to make the hard decisions facing them. Would the culture be strong enough to withstand the internal forces of alcohol and indifference and the outside pressures of oil and gas development to the precious calving grounds? People left Arctic Village with a renewed spirit, knowing that there was still a long way to go and so much to do. For me, the trip to Gujin in has been very special. I now keep in touch with friends and relatives in Alaska. At home, my family and I are working on our language to communicate in Gujin. For Neda, I'm Ruth Carroll.
can't blame Jack for falling. I could fall for them myself. And next to star of radio, stage, and screen, the world's greatest banjoist, Mr. Eddie Peabody. Hello there, pupils. Hello, Eddie. You ready for the show? Yes, dear teacher, but there's something we must help. Well, hurry up and ask it, because I'm raring to go. The question is, dear teacher, what makes the loving for? Now that's the foolish question. You embarrass me. Me, 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 me. Girls, I'd like a chord in G, please. One, two, three, four. That's the chord in G, folks, regardless of what you think. In a small village devoted to religious convictions. When did you become one of the penitentiary? When I came back. A man struggles to keep his faith and the love of his wife. If I were him, I would not leave a woman like you alone all the time. Sometimes the only way to keep a love is to set it free. Is it wrong to love too much? To allow a sin so that maybe good can happen? Armand Asante and Raul Julia star in The Penitent. 